everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hi. Hey, um, I've got a very simple but very fun little uh, book page flower to show you today. This idea is probably all over the internet already. I think I saw somebody on Pinterest, if I get the name right, um, craftingintherain.com. Uh, I saw her picture and I just kind of created it myself with um, just looking at it and seeing how I could make it. So this little book page flower we're going to make today. Let me back you up a little bit here so you can see how this looks in a journal. I'm using it as a um, just a little page embellishment here on the page trim. This is Sari Silk, the green ribbon, S-A-R-I. And um, I don't know, I just thought I'd plop that on there because it kind of look cute. Now you could scatter these across a page. You could draw stems, um, things like that, and, and put little uh, things on them. You could add them to your covers. There's just so many fun ways to use paper flowers. And this is a very easy paper flower to do. Now, um, in making it, I kind of made it and then realized how I could make it better. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks just to make it easier for you to make it look really kind of cute and just playful. Cute little flower. Okay, so let's go ahead and make one. Um, I have these punches. Um, circle punches are great. If you don't have a circle punch, just grab a um, grab a, um, a glass or something with a round bottom like like <laughs> your Fabrifix bottle, something like that. Um, any glue, you know, any bottles that you have that might be the right size. And I think this one particularly is, was the one they used with that flower. It's five centimeters or, I don't know why I'm giving you centimeters, um, but for those who want centimeters, there you go. And it's about, I think it's a two inch circle punch. So if you have one of those, they're very handy to have. And I like to use book page. Um, with text on it. I think it looks pretty, but you could use music paper, you could use scrapbook paper, white paper, um, you know, these caramel colored pages from the old books, whatever you like. So I'm just going to use this and punch out a few circles. We're going to need four uh, to make one flower. So let me just go hopefully and get out four. Here's a little trick. If you're, um, you have a big wide margin here, just take any ruler. A metal ruler works really well if you put the metal side down and just tear that off and that'll take you right to the text edge. And then it's easier. You're, you're, you're confident you're going to get um, all text on your uh, cute little um, petals that we're making. Okay, so here's the next little tip. Um, we're going to fold them in quarters. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Pretty easy to do. Okay. Doesn't really matter, matter which way the text goes. That's all good. Um, this is actually pretty fragile paper because it's older, but I think it's going to be fine. Okay. Now I only have text on half of this, but since I'm folding it in half and folding it in half again, I know I'm just going to have text showing here. So that makes that little situation go away in case you run into that. And there we go. Okay. So um, what you want is a base to start with. So I punched out a one inch circle punch and these are, if you don't have one of these, this is a grand friend of any junk journal crafter, the one inch circle punch. So I had some of these leftover edges and I just came along and punched a one, circ one inch circle punch out of it. So let's use what we have, right? Okay. So there's one flower. And okay, so here's the next little trick. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, um, place these like this on here, but first we have to create our petal shape. Let me go a little closer for you so you can see what's going on. Okay, um, so you want to have, I, I don't know, I'm going to call this an ice cream cone. Here's the cone part. Here's where the ice cream would be. That makes no sense. I know, but I must be hungry. So I'm just going to align these all so the ice cream is not falling out of the cone. It's at the top. Still doesn't make any sense, Pam, but you know, you're just hungry. That's all it is. That's probably too much to do at once. So what I'm going to say is what I'm going to say. I'm going to prepare now to say something. Here it comes. Um, we're going to make our petal. Now, all I did was a wavy line, but the kicker is you want to start um, not with the pointy edge. You don't want to leave the pointy edge here. You want to get rid of that and then just um, make your, your flower shape, whatever that looks like. Um, everybody will probably come up with this. I'm doing a random. I mean, there's no um, see now I want to get rid of that edge. So I want to take it down, trying to round it as best I can without leaving sharp jagged points, but I think it's okay even if you do. Okay. So that's, that's basically what it looks like. 
Okay, that's two of them. I'm going to do these two. Ideally, if my paper was thinner, I could do all four at once, but it's a little bit, this paper is thicker, and I don't think I can cut them that way. So, okay, I'm, I'm rounding this edge, starting with the roundy ruse, going wavy, going for some peddly floppage look sort of look thing here, and rounding that last little edge right there. Okay, so now I've got four, and I've got my little, my little centerpiece. So life is looking really grand right now. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead. These Now, because these are folded in quarters, I'm going to go ahead and just glue one side together on each of them. But I don't want to glue the center because I want to be able to puff them up a little bit. Uh, so I'm just going to glue this edge. And each one of these will have an edge that needs to be glued. So I hope you guys are having fun out there today. Are you? Playing with your papers? Are you creating books? Are you making magic happen right before your eyes? I'll bet you are. I, I know you are. <laughs> or you're thinking about it. That's that's good too. Um, and sometimes you just need to kick back and just have fun. Watch watch somebody else make some stuff for a while. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, okay. So now where you get to have a little fun here is with your colored inks and things like that. And so this first one I made was pinkish. Okay. I think that's pretty. Uh, maybe I'm going to make a, um, a blue flower now. I'm going to make a blue flower this time. So I'm going to pull out my Broken China Distress Ink. And I'm going to get my little blue dauber. And I'm just going to... This is the Ink the Bejeebers mo Maneuver. Okay. Just inking, inking. Um, get a little bit. You don't have to get too much on the bottom side. Just the top is the most important. Maybe on the edges a bit because we're going to fluff it up a little bit and uh, create some fun little papery goodness out of this stuff. So just imagine if you had a fiction book, how many you could make out of one fiction book. Let's say everybody in the household has read it, nobody at the library wants it, and you can turn it into a flower, flower field of flowers. There you go. Okay. Um, now, um, we have that part. Let's go ahead and glue our little, our little guys to the base. Here we go. This is Fabrifix glue, clear silicone glue. Gluing fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper, just like the glue. This is what the bottle looks like if you've never seen it. Um, Beacon makes several glues, Fabrifix, Fabri-Tac, and Beacon 3-in-1. They probably make others by now, but um, they all work the same to me, but I'm sure there are subtle differences. And um, Okay, so what I'm going to do... I just put the glue down there. Um, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to like fold it back, like curl it up a little bit. What's going on? Nothing. Everything's okay. All right. And um, I think this is going to, this is a very crumbly paper. It would probably have been better with a, a book page that has a little more um, integrity to it. So maybe not a totally crumbly one like I'm using, but like a partially uh, solid one, which would be better for curling purposes and things like that. Um, you could probably even like take a little scissor and curl them if you have a, a strong enough paper. But I think I'm just going to be gentle with this one. Grab my little fabric. Oh, I did that already. My fabric fix glue, and I'm ready to pop these down. I'm going to try for a pie. I'm just going to try and make it look like centered. Okay, put these guys all down. All right. And then give it a little push in the center. You can curl them up a little bit more if you want. Now remember, it's going to get flattened in a book, so it's going to get pressed down to some degree, unless you have it on the cover or something like that. But I'm going to just take this and I'm going to color on the ones that I folded over so they have a little bit of dimension too. And maybe I'm even going to go wild and crazy and bring in some um, walnut stain. It's a brown. I know it's hard to read, but this is walnut stain. It's a brown. Brownie brown brown. It's um, probably a dark brown, I would call it, in case you're wondering. And here's my brown dauber. Rub, rub, rub. And I'm just going to do a little, like, am I? Am I? I can't see any coming up. Okay, let's wet this. I think this is getting a little dry or out of ink. I, think I need to wake it up a little. Okay. Yeah, just giving it some dimension here. And you can have fun with this. Um, you can add different colors. Um, to give it more more oomph and stuff like that. You can round these. You see where it's a little squarish? You can like pull in the corners, make it look not so squarish. Um, there we go. Get a little more blue if it got too 
brown, which I think maybe I went a little brownie overboard there. Okay, come back with a little blue, and you can even come with other colors if you want. If you, okay, here's some green. Why don't I throw some green in there? Why not? What do I got to lose? Nothing. Nothing at all. Let's grab another, where's my green dauber? How can it not be here? It's right where I left it, in the dauber drawer. Okay, this is peeled paint. I would, green of any, any form is fine, I think. And this is just like random. Right through the center. I don't know. Whatever, you just have fun with it. There we go. So now we have that. And now we're going to, um, what I did on the other one was I, I did a little nesting with cheesecloth. And I had a little piece of, uh, what have I got? A little tiny piece of cheesecloth here. I thought I would put a little um, flatback pearl in there, but I thought I would like to nest it on a little piece of cheesecloth. So this is a very little piece of cheesecloth. This is like, I don't know, a centimeter by a centimeter. It's really small. And you can ink it up, but I think I'm going to leave it white for contrast. And I was going to, you know, who doesn't have some book pages hanging around? You just want to make some flowers. If you could put these down the, the spine. Would that not be so pretty on a hardcover book? I think that would be really pretty. And maybe moosh it a little bit. Moosh. That's a technical term. Moosh. Your, um, it's different than smoosh. Okay, let's just technically explain that. It is, this is moosh. <laughs> I, have no, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, there, I put the cheesecloth down and I mooshed it. Mooshed it. There we go. And now I am going to put a flat back pearl. You could put a rhinestone. That would be really pretty too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have these. Maybe these. These, are, these came in a little pack multicolored ones. Maybe a dark one would look pretty. Let's just see. We'll do a test drive. There's one. It's kind of in the tones, you know? Ooh, that, that's kind of pretty. Oh, I like that. Okay, maybe we'll do that. Okay, retreat, grab, glue. These have no stick on the back, so I'm going to use Fabrifix. And plop her down. Okay, actually, you can put the glue there and just plop it down there, too. That's another idea. And, um... No, let's just keep playing on this one page. This is kind of fun. Um, oh, we're not done yet, Pam. We're not done. No, why? What are you missing? We're missing the... You don't have to do this, but I was just doing it for amplification purposes. Um, this is my Aquarellable. <laughs> Can't believe I've been saying that word all wrong this whole time. The Aquarellable Stabilo Water Soluble Graphite Pencil 8046. So I'm just going to come along in here, and this one is kind of needs a sharpen, but I just don't feel like sharpening it right now. So I'm just going to go around instead of drawing a line. I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. This is the technique of, I don't have a name for this yet, but we'll call it um, pencil dots. How about that? I made some pencil dots. You can totally leave it like that. And I actually like that look, but since I did the other one this way, I'm going to use my hand cup to hold a little bit of water. And then I have my handy dandy Q-tip and this is going to help dissolve and move that pigment in different directions, which is kind of cool. And so you have that. Look, look where we've gone from whence we started, right? And then if you really want to go hog wild, you can do these little angle things. I don't know what else to call them than angle lines. And they're going to give your, your petals some like amazing artistic dimension. That's, that's really all you do. You just do that. And then all of a sudden you have, you have artistic dimension. I don't even think there's supposed to be one here, but I'm just putting it here. Okay, there we go. Um, and okay, with this one, I'm going to do on the downside or the inside, I'm just going to put it, what am I doing? On the inside, I'm, yes. So only on one side of the, the line as opposed to running over the whole thing. I kind of ran over the whole thing. That's okay. It's all good because it's sort of distressed looking. It's a very distressed looking little flower, but isn't that cute? It's so easy to make. It has a nice glueable base. And um, let us see where we can put here. Let me back up a little bit. We're getting all close on you here. Okay. So that one's there, that one's there. I could put it over, okay, put it in this corner. That would look pretty too, wouldn't it? Or should I put it here? Maybe I'll make, it, yeah, oh, okay, all right. Let me find a, um, I'm, I'm over here in my pencil drawer. I have no idea what I'm doing over here. Grab one. Okay, here's one and here's two. 
Okay, I got two green. I'm back. Since I'm working with greens and pinks, I've got green um, colored pencils. There's some green here, pink and green, pink and green. It's all kind of marrying together. Totally unplanned. That was pure luck. Okay. Let me just orient you a little bit. Okay. And, and this is where you can just really have fun with the page. Um, this is probably going to break when I use it. It's not, okay, I didn't glue my flower down. Details. Who is not monitoring the process? Apparently it's me. Um, but I, I love these little flowers. I could make these little flowers all day. Um, this would be a fun mass making project. Boop, 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 boop. And um, yeah, and then just do one of these deals, you know. One of those deals. And you, got, you got something going, you know what I mean? Like you're going places and doing things. And um, you can be more elaborate. You can, you can draw a few leaves if you want to. Um, here and there, you know, I don't, I don't know, um, just have some fun with it, but, um, that's a nice thing that you can do with these, um, and, okay, so let's see what happens when we close the book, smoosh, and then let's go find the flowers again, there they are, so they still, even after being smooshed, they still have some dimension, and they do look, um, like they have texture, which is kind of cool, see that, I'm knocking over everything as I'm trying to show you. Um, and you could put a whole bunch of these on a page. And like I said, I think they would look really cool on a spine. I probably wouldn't do it on this particular journal because it's a soft fabric cover journal and there will be hands grabbing here. Maybe that might be a little rough on the paper flowers. Maybe, maybe not the best place. Um, but if you wanted to do it, you could actually put a piece of lace over them, very sheer lace, and that would anchor them in and that would prevent them from having hand damage. I don't know, just a random thought there. But, uh, so there, I lost them. <laughs> there they are, uh, are the paper flowers. And um, let's just make one more and, and see how that goes, because that's kind of fun. Maybe we'll decorate it a little bit differently. We'll go just whoosh, go off in a different direction. Um, actually, I have some of these larger circles cut out. Something wrong with that circle cutting there. That person needs to be fired immediately. I'm, okay, I'm leaving the building. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? One, two... One, two, three. No, I'm not going to cut it. No. Can I, can I have one more? Any, I'll take anything at this point. Um, that's a different paper. Can I use different papers? Why not? I'm using different papers here. Let's do that. That's different. Um, where is my ruler? It cannot, cannot have gone far. Because I was right here and it was with us. Oh, here, okay, here's... I'll use this short ruler because I don't... Do you see the long ruler? Does anybody see it? Can you point it out to me, please? Because I can't see it. It's probably right in front of me. I just need to feel around. Here it is. Okay, I found it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sally. Sally saw it, and she pointed it out. Oh, we're rolling again. Life is good again. Okay, this is my... How big is this circle punch? You ask? I will tell you. It is... Three. Okay, it's a three-inch cir three circle punch. Not a bad backup to have. You might want to use this one every once... I don't know how big this flower is going to come out. That's, I haven't made one with these yet, but let's just see what happens. Okay, let's start. Okay, now maybe this time I'm going to use this as my center because I have bigger, bigger petals to, to process here. So I have the two-inch circle punch for the center. Now I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to fold them all up in the quarter maneuver. Okay, quartering, quartering. Quartering. All right, that is fun. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. And there we go. And how fun is that? All right, so we have four petals. These are thinner, so I think I'm going to be able to maybe cut them all at the same time. Maybe I should just cut these completely differently and see what happens. No, I mean at the same time, but a different shape. Maybe not the wa waffly style. Maybe... Here's the scissors. Um, so I want to start... I was... Okay, here's my thought. I'm going to try this. I don't know if this is going to work. Here's a grand experiment right before your eyes. I'm going to do little strips. I don't know if this is going to work. This might not work, but it might. So we're, we're going to go for it and see if it works. 
You know, some of you are probably saying, no, don't do that. And others are going, oh, yeah, I was going to totally do that. Okay, so we're doing it. Oh, I almost cut my finger. Um, don't cut your finger. Um, I hope I can ruffle this. We're going to do our best to ruffle it. Mm-hmm. We are. Oh, hey, that was almost too far. I think I almost cut up a chunk. I feel like I should round it at the corners. For some, I don't know. I'm just compelled to round it a little bit. I don't know. Just I'm going for it. That doesn't look very round. Okay. I've got so many here together. All right. We got that. I don't know. I don't know, everybody. This could go bad. This could go south. Let's see what happens. Um, these two pages are the same. Okay, let's glue our little middles together first. I think that's what we did. Not, not the middle middle, but the edge of the middle. Because we, we, we might want to fluff. And if you fluff, then you don't want your middle to be glued together. You just want your middle edge. Right, Sonny? Right, Mom? Oh, he's very quiet today. Apparently his, his voice is a little hoarse for some reason. But uh, he's doing good. He's having a dandy day. Oh, he was all... What's that, spit and vinegar? Oh my gosh, when I came home last night, he went to play, he wanted to play all night long and not let mother have any sleep. <laughs> so um, there you go, that happens. Okay, so I, this, okay, this is my technique. I've just discovered it. This is the padding technique to give the ruffly edges. There we go, now I have, I have done that. There's one, I'm gonna do these separate. These are different thickness pages. So this could look really weird. I'm just saying, it could, it could go bad. We could, we could totally, take a nosedive on this baby, but we might not, and it might turn out cool. Maybe using the same pages might make more sense, but I'm gonna put the two that are similar across from each other to give some sense of balance to this piece of art. <laughs> Let's just see, but that's, it's easy to do. I mean, I think anybody can do this. This is, this is the technique. It's the pat, 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 random ruffle. There you go. All right, so we apparently did not ink anything, so let us ink now. What color should we ink with? That's a nice, what, what's that over there? We got, well, there's a vintage photo. I found another brown. Um, we could do pink one maybe this time. It might be fun. Yeah, all right. We're, maybe we'll mix some multicolors in here because we're just feeling dandy. What is this? Kitsch Flamingo. Okay. This is a relatively new one of mine, so. Um, yeah, let's, just, let's just get in here and ink. Yeah, we'll just ink it everywhere. I don't know. We'll ink a little here. Oh, look, it's coming like a daisy now. I'm folding them all back and curly. So you can mush them or you can, you can daisy them where they all fold back. Nice roundy loo. Um, I don't know. Let's give it a go. This is another one. Get more ink. Don't make me spritz you. I'm going to come with the spritzer. If you're not going to be spritzable, well, you know, I mean, you're not going to give up your ink. God darn it. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, here we go. And we're inking. And we're inking, and we're inking some more. And then we're gonna come in like heavy duty ink on the edges because I just feel like it needs more ink. Now this is how I get ink all over my fingers, which is a daily thing around here. This is the thickest page. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. Paper's gonna fly off it. There you go, because it's crumbly. It's part of that crumble paper I tried. See, there goes another piece. Woo, gone, another one. So maybe don't use the crumbly stuff. Oh, should I just, oh, please. Yeah, okay, so let's just throw that one over there. And let's, maybe I can do something with this. Let me just use this. This is like a, a defective one, but I think I can hide that piece in here. Now, what did I do? I cut the lines, right? Yeah. Don't cut your fingers. Why are you doing that? I don't know. I'm not watching what I'm doing. You should be watching what you're doing. But I'm, I'm distracted by the yapping. There's like in incessant la yapping that goes on. I know. It's a thing. I just feel the need to fill the airspace for some reason. Scrunch. Scrunch. Okay, now I have one, two. These sort of all feel. This one's okay. He's like a different paper, but he's he's uh, willing to play the game. Let's just say he's in. He's all in. He voted in. He's he's still on the island. Um, here we go. And there, With the grandest of techniques. And I don't know. Do do. Uh, are you guys having fun out there? I hope so, because this is the only reason I'm here. We're here to have some fun. We're playing with the paper. We're doing, like, what is this? This is insanity, but we're, it's fun. I don't know why. It's just, it's fun. So there you go. Does anybody remember a footsie? It was a, um, 
a, a ring that you put your ankle in and then it had a string and a cup on the end and you swung it around. See, that made no sense, that whole thing. You would like jump over the, the, the string and the cup over and over and over again, you know, like as you swung your leg around. But uh, yeah, let me know if you remember the footsie because that's another thing that made absolutely no sense. Um, but we did it for hours and it was fun. And that's really the only we reason we did it. And that's why I bring it up because somebody asked me, I get this question all the time of like, what's the purpose of a junk journal? No more than a purpose of hanging, like the wall hanging, the art hanging on your wall. Does it have a purpose? Um, if it makes you feel good, if it makes you happy, if it inspires you, um, then it's good. It doesn't really have to make any sense as long as you are having fun. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to make this a pinky brown flower. I don't know why. Maybe we'll put some green in there too for fun. Some green? Okay, you asked. I'm, I'm answering. Where's the green dauber? Here. Okay, let's put some green too. All right, let's put some anywhere. I don't know. I'll put the green on there, Pam. Okay, just giving it a little more dimension. Sometimes when you use multiple inks, you get a little more dimension with your, your colors. You don't need a thousand inks. You just need a few. I use primarily, well, brown and black, and then I have pink, uh, green, and blue as my primaries. I have a whole drawer full of the other ones that I bought that I thought that I needed, but I never use because I forget I have them. And they're way over there, and these I keep on my desk, so they're easy to grab. Okay, so here we go. Now, we can put down the glow. I'm hoping this is not too big of a, um, a base. I don't think so. Okay, so one. It's a weird looking flower already, isn't it? It's kind of it's very different. It's more like a zinnia. I'm feeling zinnia here more than, I don't know, the other one was more like a, I don't know, a violet or a pansy or something like that. This is more, what are you, like leftover pieces from the disintegrating book page. Um, yeah, so pick out a, yeah, sturdier book pages I think will be your friend here. They don't have to be thick. Actually thinner, I think, might be better. Um, and this is some gothic text book page. This has a little, couple little weird words in there. Um, okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, this is a very different looking flower, isn't it? Okay, so now we don't necessarily have to use the... But what could we use? We don't have to use the cheesecloth. But, uh, okay, so I have this. I have a one-inch circle here that I didn't really do anything with, so maybe I can just... Maybe I, this is kind of that crumbly paper, but let's just see what happens. Maybe I'm just going to scrunch it to give it a little... Oh, look, there, now I have that. See, you didn't see that coming, did you? Okay, maybe, maybe you did. She's like, she's going to scrunch it. I can see it coming. Um, and that could be the center. Okay, but let me... let me Brown? I don't know. What do you think? Too, too dark? You could like really get the brown on there. Okay, I, I just want some contrast for the center. And then maybe a little green. It's probably so brown. You're not gonna, Okay, it's maybe a little green. Little, okay, this is just like like a weird piece of something I peeled off my shoe. That's what it looks like. And um, But it's going to become a flower, so we're going to put it in the center. I'm just trying to make a different way of making a center. If you don't have cheesecloth, you can use other things. It doesn't always have to be cheesecloth. Um, oh, it all came apart because it was that crumbly paper, but I've glued it down now, so you're there to stay. And now I'm going to put a center which can be anything. It can be a color that's not represented or it can be a represented color. Let's see what, what, got some of these over here. The green one's like red. No, it's into, too intense for this yellow golden one. That could be pretty. I'm going to try that. Um, okay. So I have this flat back rhinestone that comes on a, a sheet. I think I got these at Walmart or something a long time ago. A long time ago. But it does have a little glue on the back, but I'm going to add a little glue because I think it needs it. Okay, putting that in the center. Yeah, that's a weird looking one, but you know, you never know until you try. So I just want to show you like different, I'm really going to smoosh this in and see what happens. Let's just like, we're going to over smoosh. This is s s extreme smooshing. N n no, not mooshing. This is now smooshing. Yes, we have left the mooshing and we've gone to smooshing. Smooshing is basically, how is it different from mooshing, you ask? I have no idea. <laughs> it's, oh, I, actually, I'm starting to like this little flower. It's having some character. I see character coming. Let me get a little more green. We'll build it up a little bit. Yeah. I, I, I'm kind of liking it. 
All right, if your little pieces are coming off, you come off now, so I know. And, okay, let me, let me internally smoosh again. Oh, I actually really like this one. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. See, you never know until you're, it's almost hairy. <laughs> you know, um, something I like about it, it really feels cool. If you could feel the texture, I wish you could feel the texture because it's really kind of cool. Now, do you belong on that page or you're like too much? We could put one there. That could be like, oh, whoop, you can't see. Um, a lot on one page, but maybe I want to do a count. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, back up more. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I do like that one there. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to glue it and do it. Very easy, very fun. Make yourself some book, book page flowers today. That was cool. I really like that. There we go, folks. I hope you had fun. Now, where's my little fluffer? Hang on, I gotta go find him. Okay, I have Mr. Sunshine. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, come on in. Hello, everybody, it's Sunshine. I have a pup date, um, very important. Um, Mom had chicken yet again, and she also had mashed cauliflower stuff and but and then was green beans and they were very good okay i would like to say i was not given chicken today because you know what happens when sunshine has too much chicken it's not pretty no no and um so sunshine did not get chicken today but he got green beans and he liked the green beans we were okay tell him what we were worried about we were worried about gas um, okay, and anything? No, I'm actually quite comfortable. I didn't have that many green beans, okay, but I'm um, a little sleepy. Um, but they were very good and very tasty, and I think my teeth are cleaner, and life is good back at the paper outpost. I just wanted to say a quick hello. Love you all. Mom, where are my ears? Don't mess with my ears, Mom. Put my ears back. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your pup day. You're welcome. Happy crafting, everybody. See you next time. Okay, thank you, son. Thank you, my love. All right, off you go. And your little Betty, bye. Well, there you go, folks. You have it here. You've heard it here. All the craziness still exists over here. I hope you're having fun laughing yourself silly and playing with your papers. And if you're not, you're thinking about what you're going to be doing playing with your papers, laughing yourself silly. Okay, so welcome to everybody. I, if you do not know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter with that you can get a free digital image emailed to you every month. Yes, every month it will come and um, you can cut them out and use them in your artwork to uh, create, sell, whatever you like. They're um, for your disposal to create with reckless abandon. And um, I all my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcast, new audio material, comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays. On the other days of the week, you, there's tons of video podcasts to watch on Spotify if you like to do that when you're out and about or wherever you're at or what you're doing. I think it, I don't know, takes up less energy or bandwidth or something. I don't know, but there's supposed to be some advantage to it. And... Um, I have an Etsy shop. If you're looking for completed journals or bundles or kits or things like that, when I have those done and ready, I will put them in there. And um, I sell printables, which I call Digi Kits. There are five pages that there, you buy the computer files from me at, in my Etsy shop, and then um, you save the computer files. They're always in your Etsy shop. Once you buy them from me, and it's, let's say you download them and you put them on your computer in a file or a folder and you can't find them anymore, just go back into your Etsy account and you will see them. The links there just to re-download them so you never lose them. Just remember um, some people sometimes have more than one Etsy account and they get confused and they say they can't find them but actually they are there they're just under maybe a different email uh, address that you used or a different password and email address combination something like that. Some people have a different Etsy account on their phone from their pe uh, their computer and they don't realize that or their tablet and they don't realize that and sometimes that can make them it's like they're not there but they really they truly are there so I recommend using an Etsy account to check out that way you will always have access to reprinting them if you use a guest account it's a lot harder to find them um, so I recommend using your Etsy account okay so I also sell fundals which are collections of old and interesting paper 100 plus pieces if you like antique ledger and um, old checks, receipts, postcards, notebooks, black and white photos, interesting book pages, fun stuff to use in your junk journals. 
free priority shipping comes with those. They're called fundles with an F. I also have a print and mail service for people who would like to purchase the digi kits or the printables, the computer files, but they don't have a printer or they don't like the print or they just rather me do it for them. I will do that for you. All you need to do is buy my print and mail option. It's a one fee. It's a one-time printing. I will print 10 digi kits for you. That gives you 50 printed pages on lightweight cardstock. And all I need from you is to buy the print and mail option and then give me the 10 names of the digi kits. And you can send that list either to Etsy message, and I only need the first um, one or, or one or like two or three words of the digi kit name, and I'll know which ones you're talking about. Or you can email me that list to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com. Both are fine ways to get me that list. You do not need to buy in the, each individual digi kit. Um, I'm sorry, there, I don't have a, a drop down list that you can just pick. It just doesn't work that way on Etsy. So we're doing it this way until something improves <laughs> in that department. Um, I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools or supplies. I put links in there what, for the ones I can find um, to the uh, products that you see me use. And also um, that does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the item because you use my links. So thank you for everybody who's been using my links. I have a t-shirt shop. So if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. Uh, great for gift giving for yourself or for others, other crafters, family. And you can find me on social media on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our fa pa Facebook group, the Paper Outpost Facebook group. We're doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. And remember most of all that fun can be as simple as a paper flower. And uh, keep on creating with reckless abandon. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Look at these inky hands. Oh, bye. <laughs>